getting old. Yeah, she is. What's up, buddy? Hey. Honestly, we're not here nice. to see you. I didn't think Voltron. You saw how old she was in the video and it's kind of got all like weepy and. <laughs> nah, she ain't that old. Hi, darling. She Hi. has the old puppy face now, though. Yeah, I know, it's stupid, but I have the old puppy face too, so. You do. It works out. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, my old girl. Oh. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I went down there. There's 4,000 people. Uh, that's not going to happen for me today. Do, 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 do. Everything will be filmed. Welcome to uh, Hiking with Rat. Say hi. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. It's not live, though, because the live videos are stupid, and I have to edit all this it down. Like so. following me everywhere. <laughs> all right, welcome to Hiking with Rat, episode, I think, 47. That right there is Scud Metal Gray, and that is Pat. T. I don't know. I was trying to remember your nickname, and I was, all I could think of was Traffic Cone. From that, <laughs> from that <laughs> orange dress you went on. By the way, I just want to say you both look absolutely fabulous, man. Like, so do wow. You. Life. Well, that's a crack. If you smoke enough crack cocaine, okay, people think you work out. It's exactly. weird. It was like, man, and look, he's a minimalist. He has no possessions whatsoever. And well, you look healthier than I've seen you before. You need to get film of those fucking calves. Look at those. That's an interesting. Well, that's from hiking with Rock. <laughs> <laughs> there are benefits to this uh, to this venture. <laughs> Besides, it's been a long time since I've been with somebody. Like literally, the last person I was with, I was married to. So uh, I got a lot of projects, man. I do a lot of exercising, lots of ha hands-on hobbies. You can take that however you want. I know I have to. Left arm's good. Get a barbell for your fucking other arm so they don't so they look normal match up. Yeah. Dude, stop stopping. So, what have you guys been up to? Well, nothing. Nothing? nothing? <laughs> that we went on vacation. <laughs> yeah, that and vacation looks fun. If you were keen on my fa on my Facebook feature recently, I found a sister. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Is it? Uh no, it's very cool. Very okay, cool. Yeah. You know, she's, she's been looking for us for an entire adult life and uh She's three years older than me, and the rabbit hole is stupid deep. Pretty cool. That Pretty is cool, cool man. That uh, is cool. I'm glad to see you with the dog. Yeah, some people walk into a job that's not even a job. Uh, dude, it's fucking solid. I bet, man. It's, uh, you know, I, for years, always wondered what I wanted to do. Was I going to follow my dad's footsteps and drive truck? Well, I don't want my CDL because I like smoking weed. Yeah, that uh, one's a problem. I tried selling weed, but uh, I just, it just, things didn't work out with the little pot farm that I worked at and you hooked up with for half a second and got jobs elsewhere. And you know, my son Jimmy is a uh, trimmer now for Falcana. That's awesome. I tried is. playing rock and roll like my father did and that didn't really pan out. Thanks, COVID. It's like we're being stocked over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, nice. I fell down the stairs with these shoes. Yeah, I'll just she, she, she ate shit not that long ago. You gotta, yeah, yeah, that sucks. So, so I figured uh, I had an opportunity to raise dogs like my dad did, and that it's really working out. How many dogs do you get in there a day? Well, the most I've dealt with at a time is 70. Yeah, that's all? <laughs> that's a mosh pit. How right, are you not right, teaching no, these fine. dogs it's, to no, mosh? It, it's fucking organized chaos. Uh, the we were, we were our, our summer numbers were expected Dude, to be in the 90s. Loosen but, up. You know, with all the shit that's going on, it's been pretty slow. I've only had maybe 30, 40 dogs at a time here recently, which is easy for what I was used to. Yeah. Now, 70 dogs is a fucking madhouse. When it's when it's two humans versus 70 dogs. Uh, yeah, but you're worth at least three good humans. And with dogs, you're so fucking stupid in love with them. It, oh. Yeah, no, they're, they're, you're, you're just balancing a pack mentality. Well, that's, and that's the thing, yeah, but, you know, and I'm sure you develop a, a more, like, being able to see things coming. Well, absolutely. You know, but putting oh, them absolutely. in the pool and shit, dude, it's, it's so cool. And you're, it, you're there, there's bad he's a dog. No, they're as bad as children. Isn't your nickname shit part of it, quiet. Coyote? When shit goes quiet and you know something's wrong. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, no, when I try to bring uh, Her Royal Highness here to a dog part. Hi, Patty. Uh, <laughs> the entire dogs, every last one of them stopped and turned and looked at Shiva. And I was like, oh. Oh, you're that bitch. You're going to start sharing with everyone. She's mellowing out a little bit. She's got friends, but they got to be male. With the female dude, she just immediately is like, I am a dude. Hashtag, that's cool, man. You know, you identify how you identify. She well, a dominant energy is, is, <coughs> is uh, not gender biased. Oh, no, definitely not. Come on. <laughs> no, I think being all. born a whole day earlier and then with the Carillion Bear Dog being an aggressive breed, it just instilled that and being raised with two blue pit bulls and just kind of... 
I don't know. She knew when she was younger, up till about six years old, she loved playing with other dogs. And then one day, I think one of them bit her or something. I can't remember. And after that, any dog come near her, that was a female, and she just bite him in the face. But in real life, most women I know are like that too. So what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> you see the woman chuckle back there? <laughs> She's like, I hate bitches. I do. So how's, uh, are you still managing? Yes. Uh-uh. I love your post. I, I knew you are because I read your posts every day. <laughs> and, you know, you read the ones that are like, fucking everybody. I wish everybody would die. People are stupid. I'm like, oh, yeah, somebody didn't stock the fucking freezer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody's calling her on vacation. I'm on vacation. Uh, we have a question. What? Where do we keep the extra lettuce? Fuck you. Some people have the audacity to continue fucking breathing. Yeah, no, I know. That annoys me. Um, I actually have a question for you, Patty. Uh, who stole the beach? What was that statement about? <laughs> Who stole the beach? Yeah, you woke up and said the beach was gone. <laughs> yeah, it just, it was magically missing one day, halfway through our vacation, and the beach trip was over, so we ended up on land. It She's wasn't got the good. lighter. You gotta talk to her. Oh, man, I used yeah, I idea. was the only one that brought a lighter? No, you put the lighter in the empty pack. I got the full pack. I thought I was going somewhere different than you. Oh. So, oh, children. My phrase for the time was sun on the beach. Ah, sun on the beach. beach. <laughs> It annoys me when people use the trails that I choose for the day. <laughs> you guys know this area pretty good, right? Like, like Port there. Orchard and, and the trails around there. What other... I need to find somewhere with a river or waterfalls that's not Dickinson's Creek. Because I'm, I'm burnt out. Waterfalls. You're such well, a lady. Manchester State Park's always fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, just right, did right. that the other day. I just recorded a... I'm recording a... Uh, I've got Dracalos, a band that DSP has produced. Look at that shit. Jesus. And uh, and uh, I'm doing a vid uh, lyric video for him. I don't have an answer for your question, but I know someone who would, so I will let you know. The right one. Or the right one, you know. Yeah. <coughs> the key to, to, to quitting heavy shit like that is that the end result is utter happiness. You know what I mean? And that's where I'm at right now. Like a thousand percent. Every day is like fucking awesome. And then I deal with a bunch of awesome customers because, believe it or not, potheads aren't like some asshole at 7-Eleven buying a fucking... Yeah, I, yeah. They're fucking happy. They're happy and they see it's me and I'm running to imagine, 10 know, hours of comedy every day. customers. <laughs> yeah. fucking pot store. I do get a few. Tweakers are pretty bad. Uh, and then there is the Karens. Oh, mostly God. of the male. Mostly of the male. My favorite guy was protesting the mask. And I was like, okay, excuse me to my other seven customers waiting on this psycho. And I go, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, well, if you're protesting, I respect that, man. I respect the fuck out of that, dude. That's what makes America great. But here's some things. A, you're uh, protesting wrong. You're inside the place you're protesting. That's incorrect. <laughs> I was like, B, uh, you're trying to buy product from the place that you're protesting. No. <laughs> and C, I don't respect you as a protester because you haven't seemed to make, take the time to make a sign, sir. You're, you're walking around protesting what? I don't know what you're protesting. <laughs> Dude, the whole mask thing in my store came down to this. No shoes, no shirt, okay? I have the right to ask my customers, please wear pants when you come into my marijuana establishment. <laughs> Same with a little piece of cloth over your face. Mm -hmm. it's, not that, it's, it's not that fucking big. No, and the, the, as soon as they're like, okay, Dude, neurosurgeons, all right? The people who know about brains and what CO2 can do to them, uh, work on your grandma for 14 hours straight wearing a little mask. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up, America. See? Opinions. But science is stupid because apparently somehow science and religion became the same thing, which both are to be severely doubted and both are probably made up. Great thing about science is science admits that. And I've got bills, science, but they're all fucking Dennis is going yeah, on I'm, And I'm happy as fuck. And you know why? Because I have quit drinking and I quit the vagina. And those two things have made me a very productive person. <laughs> I am so fucking lonely. But, you know, and, and a little angsty. Yeah, but it's got better with her because she's starting to go blind. So she, she doesn't see the peanut butter coming, but she could smell it. <laughs> I'm writing some really good new jokes, dude. I got some great ones. My bear on meth. Because Florida thinks they're so cool with their alligators on meth. Alligators kind of stay in the water. Bears are everywhere. And bears are getting in your garbage. And now they don't fucking hibernate. Now what are you going to do? You got a tweaker bear going through your garbage in the middle of the winter. And he looks cold because, you know, he's all patchy and shit. And then he attacks you, but he's got no teeth. So you're just like, it's a vicious gumming. Kind of being like hugged by your uncle again. It's not where the clown nose goes, Frank. <laughs> yeah, you see? Look at those smiles, guys. Remember smiles? They're on the bottom half of people's faces.
<laughs> because we're fucking stopping. Why are she's we like, not walking? She's like, it's been fucking forever. Like, <coughs> shit. She'll be fine. Rot's about to go off on again and go hike a lot. No, man, I fucking... Boy, they got me good on the tabs, as, as you guys call them tabs, where real people grow up, they're called tags. But anyways... <laughs> uh, well, it's like you fuckers call snow machines snowmobiles. I'm like, no, a snowmobile is something you hang over a baby's crib so he grows up <laughs> loving snow machines. Fucking morons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> that's the Alaska dickhead coming out. I'm trying to smother it. Ugh. Oh, it must be a good one, huh? We're sniffing here. Yeah, well, I think a sniffer, she's getting old, so she sniffs longer now. Plus, she's uh, she's old. She's she's like, fuck you. You can pull all you want. She started, I got her the harness again because she was just killing herself on the fucking, on the on the uh, collar. She don't give a fuck about her neck. She's got all that extra fur. Well, that's because you got to ride it high up behind her ear. But, yeah. What's that? Nothing. Professional. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, nothing. No, I have no, I have no room to talk about how to, okay, so I work with dogs, but I have no room to talk about how to raise or train your dog. Uh, I think I did good with Shiva, considering I don't I'm a psychopath. I a dog at the moment. Um, I think after all of this. Falcana, by the way. Shout out to James Reed. You do good so when work. When I slide down this hill, you're gonna edit that out, right? No, oh, absolutely not. <laughs> Actually, let me focus on you. <laughs> no, don't. Turns out these shoes have no traction in dirt or sand. Mm. Yeah, the Found key out. right now is to, you know, you're saying I believe in a lot of silver linings in this thing. One thing I really like is that eye contact again and reading body language and getting back to some of our basic instincts. Also being consciously aware constantly of our surroundings and people as we should be all the time anyways right and uh and realizing some things about this country's uh work ethics which are all fucking cattywampus you should do stuff you love you shouldn't have to work yourself to death you shouldn't have to drive to work when you could do it from your house you isn't know isn't it amazing how many people can work from home all of a sudden isn't it amazing how you could see seattle without any haze from fucking <laughs> manchester isn't that a fuck? Or was it oh, Manchester? Oh man, dude, the first man, fucking, dude, man, man dude, man, the first dude. Two, three Sorry. months we were on fucking lockdown. Traffic was glorious. Yeah, it's back. I, tried, oh, I just man. read a thing it was yesterday. Like a cool fucking ninety. Like everybody, like even staters and shit are just cruising at fucking ninety. Everyone was spaced, was spaced out on the fucking social highway. distancing. On on the, um, well, this will loop around and then we'll go back that way. What time is it? All right, perfect. I timed this perfectly. Well, you know what? Yeah, I think America needed a big slap to the face to slow down. I think a lot of hatred and ignorance is being exposed. I think all this is going to burst into a giant bubble of, uh, oh, by the way, BLM. But I, I do believe, I do believe uh, a, a, a giant bubble of actually snapping the PC culture in two and bringing back an actual real sense of humor. This is the part of hiking with Rot where you get the exercise. That's what I love. <clears throat> I brought Ian with me and he almost died. I'm like, keep going. But I gave him a big fat indica joint too. And he smokes sativa dabs. So he was fucked up. You know how it is if you dab and then you smoke. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. <laughs> this is what those calves you're talking about. You can look at them. I don't mind. I, uh, I can't dab. <clears throat> I tried. Man, no, was, there's I've no been, fucking point, dude. Been, dude, it's the crack cocaine. Smoking weed for a long fucking time. So I'm just, saying, we're, dude, we're, a we're gonna be one of the last generations yeah. to ever smoke marijuana. What I mean is, this gonna be edible pill forms or whatever, or electronic like the distillates I that I pop by. There's those fucking dab oh, pens yeah. with that fucking glass bubble on them. I love I'm this like, guy. That brings yeah. back terrible, terrible memories. Wait, are you talking <laughs> about meth pipes? What was that? No, 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 no those, the, the fucking the dab pens with the fucking they're all oh. glass bubbled and shit. You know, like yeah, oh, I oh, do actually. Your dab oil in there and fucking... You know, when like I was watching uh, fucking one of the two on. that you were on back in the day, first off, the mod you had was ancient. It was at a... Uh, no, that, the ancient? Wars? That thing was a fucking beast. It that, was? That was an old Segeli one. The Segeli, yeah. The yeah. lightsaber looking Dude. fucking one. Oh, oh, no, the lightsaber one. Cindy. Oh, that's right. I had that one. Oh, I look at this. I should have watched the fucking video. Isn't that fucking cool? You know what's really cool? Yeah. These Random. are all going to be fucking full-size trees that grow out of that thing. I spent way too much time in nature. That's how you get your face bit by a spike. We've all seen this movie, you idiot. <laughs> nah, it reminds me of ticks. Well, plenty of ants. Oh. So we just recorded small clips, right? Why Is are you it? recording? He's peeing. Don't put it that way. I'm not. It's looking oh, at it's, us. It's, Shh, well, see, not now.
It could have just been the rain in the background. <laughs> but no, Patty's like, Rat's over there peeing. Wore the uh, Voltron be shirt like, because Rot made a mention about Transformers or Robotech. And I was before? like, fucking Voltron, bitches. No. It's, dude, it's got these little trails that run through, which makes it a really nice little day hike. But have you been down to the ocean? I think I dropped off a homeless dude here once. Okay, that's weird. You have weird <laughs> adventures. I... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, it's still recording that whole time. <laughs> no, oh, it's you're recording here. again. God damn it. You know what? You're the third person to Patty. do that to me. I've got to stop handing people my Patty <laughs> Wolf. That's what it was. Wolf. Dun dun. Dun dun. <laughs> Scud Metal Gray, all right, what's it for our, for our all? Robotech, Voltron, yeah. or Transformers, you can only pick one. Best plot line with the smart ass comments on Facebook. And how dare you? How would, why wouldn't you love this shit? Traded, you know, traded all time. So come on, Voltron. See, and I forgot about Voltron. I may have to edit that post and start a fight. It's pretty good storyline. Look at that shit. It is a good storyline. See, Transformers, I know it was Robotech that actually introduced me to it. I never went into the true end. I stayed to that. I was like, Captain Harlock in the Silver Queen is my favorite show ever. And like I said, I was today. Oh, you didn't know? Well, I didn't know there was a new one. You remember the Team Network back in the day? Well, maybe it was an Alaska thing, but that's where we could watch all that shit. And I'd watch it all. It was Robotech, Captain Harlock, and the Silver Queen, and then uh, something else. Some cool ones. Anyways, oh, yeah, I see it. Hey, we're a lady. Oh, I know, we're a lady. All right, this has been Hiking with Rod, episode something something. Scud, Patty, thank you for being on. You'll be smart. And hopefully, nobody in this little circle here does. Demons inside my